Hey friends, welcome back. Today, we are gonna make what's called a threefer cable. So a threefer cable is taking one uh, twist lock connector and breaking that out into three normal Edison connectors. So um, today we're gonna be working with a, what is referred to as an L2130 connector. Um, this is a very industry standard uh, connector in the entertainment industry. Um, a lot of motors run on this in, in the industrial world, saw motors and anything that is requiring three-phase power. So um, to those of you not, not hip with that, um, here's what three-phase power is. In a normal Edison connector like this, uh, which is what you have in your home or shop, um, you've got three colors. You have black, which is your hot, your white, which is your neutral, and your green, which is your ground. So on the front of this connector, this is your hot connector, because there's the black. This is your neutral connector, this is the white, and then this is your ground. So on a twist lock connector, or I should say a three-phase twist lock connector, you have three hots. So instead of one on this, we'll drop that you have three on this. So this is one, two, and three hots. You have one common neutral and you have one ground pin that's in the center. So in this one connector, you have three hots. So three blacks, essentially a neutral and a ground. So what we're gonna do today with our cable is we're gonna take each one of these hots and isolate it uh, to a single one of, of a, just a standard um, 15 amp Edison um, we're calling it Edison because that's a, a, an audiovisual term for this. Um, you might ask, why would you want this? Well, on a common distro that gives you a bunch of different output options, um, we can run one cable line, uh, which we would call a trunk line, um, down uh, to, to wherever we need power, be it at an amp rack or, or anything like that, and then break that out into, uh, into individual um, outputs, three separate individual outputs on one cable. So the main, um, the main cable, the main three-phase cable is um, uh, what we're calling our trunk line, and then it branches out into three um, individual outputs. So you're carrying three individual outputs on one connector. Confused yet? <laughs> um, so let's take a look at my distro that I have on the desk in my shop, and maybe this thing will make a uh, maybe this will make a little bit more sense. So this is the power distro, aka power distribution unit that I have on my um, shop table. Now this is a three phase distro, so our L twenty one thirty connector. This guy powers this unit. The power input is on the back. So when you look at this, we have a variety of different connectors. So the things that I'm building, I basically want to plug anything in um, that, that, I'm, that I'm building without any type of weird adapter or anything. So this box is basically my adapter. So we're taking three phases, so three hot legs, and breaking this out into usable things. So if we look down here, these are three 20 amp breakers that bring in our X, our Y, and our Z. These are our three hot legs. So this is our 2130. So our connector would go into that. Um, this is an L1430. So this is hot, 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 and neutral. Uh, this is an L630. So it's hot, hot, neutral. Uh, this is an L530. So it's hot, ground, neutral. This is an L520. This is hot, neutral ground and this is just a regular uh, 15 amp wall outlet like you would see it's just in a cool little dish like this um i've also got power con down here true one for entertainment stuff and then on the side here these are called cams so this is also breaking out our our three hot legs a neutral and a ground i just have little pieces of tape on here just in case somebody wants to uh stick your finger in there. <laughs> uh, there are people that maybe not, not aren't hip with uh, higher grade power things in this shop. So I just want to prevent uh, any, any, any damage. So um, now that there's a little bit about the uh, distro on my desk, let's get back to this connector. Okay, so to start to build this overall cable, I just cut myself a piece of one foot five conductor SJO cable. Um, so this is submersible, outdoor rated, heavy duty, uh, super thick jacketed cable. 
Um, so you can see how thick the uh, the jacketing is here on the exterior. So for the sake of time, I, I pulled back maybe two inches of the uh, of the cabling here and uh, and stripped these wires down so you could see what's going on in here. So in comparison to a regular power cable, um, where you would only have these three um, hot ground and neutral, you've got uh, two more. So these can be uh, various colors, but any color other than the standard green for ground and white for neutral is generally considered a hotline. So in your house, if you have a three-way switch, as an example, um, your red traveler wire between the, uh, or the red wire that goes between the two switches or your traveler wire, so that's hot. So if you were in a wall, you'd need to be careful. So um, to build the, uh, the connector, uh, the first thing that you want to do is start with your ground. And then the next portion is we're going to do our X. So for X, uh, I'm going to use the black. Just make sure that that's in there. So this is our first hot leg. Okay, so we've got our uh, our connector wired up, and uh, anybody that knows me or follows me knows that I can't resist the opportunity for branding. So um, the next stage is going to be uh, cutting this end up and separating out our three hotlines, and we're going to start to build our um, our our breakouts. Now, something that I should also mention is that before I terminated that connector, I did write down the color code. So X is black, Y is red, and Z is orange. Now we're gonna need to label those on the other side. Uh, I didn't mention that before, I just wanted to mention it now. So, all right, let's build, uh, let's build the other half. All right, so I just finished this cable up. So here is the final uh, heat shrink of it all. Um, I think if doing this again, I'm gonna stagger all of these connections. Um, I don't know if you could tell from the time-lapse or not, but what I did was I flayed the, um, 
uh, copper out on each of the wires and then I interlocked them like this and then I, I twisted them. So the uh, neutral portion and the ground portion just they're they're kind of tumory at the moment. So um, you know the tricky thing about making a cable like this is there isn't a commercially available molded um, 10 gauge uh, one to three splitter which is why I'm making this cable. Um, so, uh, you know, even though this has heat shrink over it, it's still pretty ugly. So, um, I ended up running into the shop, um, and we had a piece of aluminum pipe laying around. Um, and I just cut this down to about five inches and, and took it on the, um, uh, belt sander and just knocked the edge off. And then I had a little, uh, pneumatic, um, grinder, little, little thin tipped grinder, uh, basically an industrial version of a Dremel tool and, uh, and just knock this inside edge off. So I popped the 2130 off of it. So I'm going to basically just slide this over. Um, so we're just going to do that on camera because why not? And then this is going to cover this connection like this. Um, so I'm going to wrap this with just electrical tape to, uh, hold it in place, and then I have some super big inch and a quarter uh, heat shrink that I'm gonna put on top of it. So here's the uh, time off to build that. All right, everybody, so this is the finished cable. Um, everything is nice and terminated. Here is the piece of pipe section that I added here. So um, this is just, I feel like in the future, this can be a little bit neater and a little bit smaller. Um, and then knowing that I was gonna use this this piece of pipe would kind of dictate how I put all this stuff together. So anyway, lesson learned. This is the first one. The uh, patient zero cable is always a little bit weird. Um, so anyway, here's uh, here's the end, 2130. Uh, this is our very gratuitous, although I can't show you my little LM logo that's on there. Um, so here are the ends. Now, I think that it's super important that I should say this. Um, I, I made my jokes about the fire starter cables and in previous videos, um, and I definitely want to say uh, here's the safety disclaimer. Um, when you're dealing with an L2130, that is three legs of 30 amps. Now this is a standard Edison connector, which is only rated for, as you can see, 15 amps. So in theory, you would be uh, looking at a 30 amp breaker in your box if you're plugging this into a 30 amp um, or into, into the other end of a 2130. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means that you have to have gratuitous safety uh, warnings there that say do not exceed 15 amps. So that if there's a person other than myself that's using this cable, um, you're not gonna plug anything into it that's insane. But in theory, um, on the other end of this, just using my, my own shop distro as an example, we have 20 amp breakers that are right there. So we have some safety factor. And then also um, in the, the other end of the case that this cable is actually being plugged into also has a breaker on its front end. So we, in theory, using this cable with a, with a custom system that it's designed for, um, will never exceed uh, 15 amps because there is a safety uh, breaker uh, on, on both ends. So um, anyway, the, the legs are labeled X, Y, and Z. So you have your X leg, your, your Y leg, and your Z leg. Um, again, uh, if, if I was selling this product, um, you know, you this should be an L530. I'm sure that any electrician that would be looking at this is, is going to say, you can't do this. It has to be an L530 because the connector has to match the uh, amperage available to you um, on the on the back end. That's 
you know, why there are different size connectors. So again, I'm not an electrician. Um, I'm sure that the comment section is going to be uh, lit up <laughs> for this particular video. But uh, anyway, um, should I say that one more time that I'm not an electrician? I'm not an electrician. This is just a, this is just an interesting cable build that I thought would be interesting. So I look forward to your comments. Please let me know all the ways that uh, I, I did this wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.